In this, the year 2000, we have seemingly miraculous technology at our fingertips. We can examine gems down to the atomic level, explain how and why light is refracted within a stone. We can create gemstones from scratch. We can ring the bell in the corner to get notified about all of our new cool videos. Ancient alchemy has nothing on modern day science. Oh, this is the first time you've seen the Colonel fight? His right glove's made of special material called ignition cloth. When he snaps, it makes a spark. After that, he uses alchemy to change the oxygen density in the air. And boom, bombs on command. This also means it's a lot more difficult nowadays to fool people with fake stones. Gem posters, if you will. My favorite fictional example of a gem poster is found in the short story, The Necklace, written by Guy de Maupassant in 1884. A vain young woman is out for a night on the town with her husband and borrows her super rich BFF's diamond necklace for the evening. Now, what did you know? She loses the darn thing. She and her husband buy a replacement and struggle and save for a decade to pay off the debt. One day, the two old friends happen to run into each other and alas, the necklace wasn't real diamonds at all. They were paste. Wait, paste? Like glue? No, like glass. Using glass as a substitute for gemstones goes back millennia, and the ancient Romans were particularly adept at mass manufacturing glass gemstones. People used gem substitutes back then for the exact same reasons we use them today to save money. Instead of waiting thousands of years for heat, pressure, and time to create a natural gemstone, just throw together a little bit of silica, a little bit of lead, some calcium carbonate, borax, arsenic oxide, and colorants, and boom, you have yourself a paste gemstone. Carved quartz, also known as rock crystal, has been used as a diamond substitute too. Rhinestones got their name from rock crystals that were found in Europe's Rhine River, literal rhinestones. Rhinestones are especially fun because they're often used on clothing, and who doesn't love to bust out the bedazzler? Nudie suits are some of the best examples of modern day rhinestone used on clothes, instantly recognizable as country music couture. The suits were designed by American tailor Nudie Cone. Country music superstars, or really anyone who has a yen for Western aesthetics and cartoony sparkle, have perfected the art of wearing rhinestones as formal attire. Attire can't get much more formal than a tiara or a crown. And if you've seen our video on the crown jewels, then you've heard me talk about the Black Prince's Ruby. Set in the imperial crown of Great Britain, the Black Prince's Ruby was presented to Edward of Woodstock, AKA the Black Prince in 1357. Around 200 years later, the Ruby was set into a Tudor crown. It disappeared from the record during England's Commonwealth era and eventually found itself in a new crown made for Queen Victoria in 1838. So, why is the Black Prince's ruby a gem posture? Because it's not a ruby after all, it's a spinel. Long story short, pretty much all red gemstones were called rubies until around the 18th century, when it was discerned that ruby and spinel were two chemically different stones. The most common way gems pass for other gems these days is a little bit of advertising nomenclature. That's not iron pyrite, that's fool's gold. Pyrite's bright luster is what made it seem comparable to gold at first glance. But a second glance will show that it's much harder and more brittle. We've all made some honest mistakes in our lives, but few have made them as big as Sir Martin Frobisher. Frobisher was an English privateer who wanted to make his fortune in the New World and got incredibly lucky after finding gold ore in Canada. Frobisher filled ships with tons of the gold ore and sent it back to England for smelting where, well, I think you know where this is going, the gold was discovered to be iron pyrite. Bankruptcies ensued. Have you accidentally bankrupted a company? And where would you rock a nudie suit? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. For more information on the topics we discussed today, check out the links below. Thanks for watching, guys.